Welcome to another Onship Tech Tip. Today we're going to go over getting a custom feature set up. This is where we're going to start with our attractor pattern custom feature. I'm currently copying the URL so I can go into my toolbar, add a new custom feature, type in that URL, and quickly find the custom feature that I'm looking for. Once I activate it, it will show up in blue, allowing me to understand that this custom feature is now activated. Custom features have all types of uses across Onshape, and there's a lot of very powerful tools we can add. Today's attractor pattern feature is going to allow us to create very complex patterns. These can be used in rectangular, triangular, and random shapes. Uh, we can control the X and Y count for how many instances of the pattern we're going to be creating. Furthermore, this tool allows us to create changes to things like the depth, the color, the rotation, and the scale of how the pattern is propagating across the planar surface through which we're creating that pattern. This opens up the door to doing some very interesting things, including creating some types of textures as we can now utilize surfacing methodologies on top of these planar faces to add texture to a face. We could also use this in a variety of other ways as we stamp features across the entire face. If we wish to assemble a part, as I am doing here, when I create a pegboard, utilizing my spherical um, ball to the rest of the pegboard, I can do this utilizing something like the ball mate. Where the attractor pattern and our assemblies really come together is utilizing replication. We can use replication across the pattern to propagate these parts along the entire face in which we've created that pattern. You can see that very quickly I've propagated all of the different pegs that I want to put on my pegboard across the entire face. Through our newest update to the ball feature, the, the ball bait, ball made feature, uh, we can now also limit it with an angle. So I limited that to a 30 uh, degree angle across it. The last thing I want to demonstrate to you here is that the replicate feature will replicate across all faces that are exactly the same. And thus here, we only have some parts show up in the final replication of the assembly. I hope this adds a few useful tools to your designing toolset.